people? Welcome back. More vitamin Y. So today we are using U-Belt Arch Chains. It is still the 30th, so I mean still pre-bandless, so yay, it's not steel. Uh, so U-Belt Arch Chains, but you know, it's not still stay here, but good news is that I changed the deck of Arch Chains a little bit, and I'm running a interesting tech card that only Arch Fiends can run, so we're going to go ahead and see how that goes down. Uh, this hand's not terrible, actually. This hand is not terrible. And go ahead and summon Dark Grafford, Dark Grafford, Pitchy Bell, send, you know, whoever, even Eris, because, you know, as long as she's the last one in the chain, she won't miss timing. You know, it's always the one that you discard who either misses timing or doesn't get its effect, so, when it comes to Dark Grafford, but, you know, the last one is good. So, yeah, you know, go ahead and do that. Go ahead and Pitchy Bell. At this point, to an extent, I really don't care if you evade me. So, the card I'm running is Falling Down. So, I have this card by, you know, Talking Pumps Monster, and I take control of it, and as long as I have an Arch Fiend, then I take 800. But, it's pretty much Snatch still, and I have Triple Boom, and it's only for Arch Fiends. So, if you're not running Arch Fiends, then you don't get to play it. So, I, you know, instead of a uh, Snatch still that everybody gets, only, and only I get to use it. So, I think that's totally, totally justified. Alright, so, we'll go ahead and get our Emperor. I took out Commander, because... As you can clearly saw, like, in the last video, if you didn't see it, uh, I wasn't even using them. Not really. I'm really, you know what? You know what? I can do this. Actually, you can only have three Aeris wins. In fact, once we turn, right? Yeah. So, you know, I'm going to cut the middle, man. You know, I usually can't send a Fairy Sarsh in the Fairy Sarsh. I'm going to send them. I already have you, Bell. So, I'm going to go ahead and send them. I'm totally fine with that. Like, fuck it. Let's go. New Red Eye support isn't on here yet, so. Because I know everybody and their mother is using that new Red Eyes on, like, you know, Dev Pro and Wide View Pro. <laughs> That's not bad. You know? That fusion is kind of ridiculous, though. I'm, I'm, I'm getting kind of sick and tired of seeing Konami make uh, fusions where you can use materials from your deck. I'm, I'm not liking that at all, so. Yeah. I'm just going to take the duel slow. Yeah, I'm just going to summon Eris. Normal summon Eris. I got Calvary. I was thinking maybe he's gonna trundle me, but hey, even if he trundles me now, I'll still, you know, get Eris effect, so. So I'll just have Dark Graph attack. If you mirror force me, I'll still get, you know, Eris effect, so I'm still chill. Oh, okay. I'll take 400. Hmm. I can't get over that bo booty bitch right now, so I guess I'll just end my turn. This is kind of shitty. She doesn't even mill herself. You know, if she milled herself, no, she doesn't. So. Very nice face if a card or card is sent. Oh, okay. Pitch Garroth. I haven't seen Garroth in a cool minute. You know, ever since the you know, ever since Raiden, I have not seen any Garroths. So he's running the White Sworn tra Traps, too. So it's just the one. It's the one that blocks the attacking. Alright. So during the end phase, I will be taking 500, and my opponent will gain 500. Alright. See, that's kind of shitty. It says cards, so you multiple. You know, it's not like every single card you mill. It's just. If you mill, or if you send cards from your deck to the graveyard by an effect, of a Light Sworn card, which is. Wait. Soul Recharge isn't a Light Sworn card, because you have to have quote, quote, Light Sworn. So you need to actually still, you know, use the Light Swords. What does she do? This card is normal summon. You can add one light dragon type monster from your deck to your hand whose level is equal to a lesser. Yeah. Then the total number of light storms with different names. Yeah, yeah. I was like, wait, you can add JD, but then never mind. You, you, you can't. What you gonna go and do? Michael. Okay. Pay 1,000. Target. Sure. That is fine. Alright, so next turn I'll go ahead and just summon Emperor and go ahead and have him pimp. Wow, he's not going to kill my heiress. Alright. One, two, is it three? Three, yeah, three. Uh, 
All less armors gain 100 attack. This card would be destroyed by card effect. I'm not, I'm not planning on destroying it by card effect. Alright, well, I got Regeki, so if this shit hits the fan and I absolutely can't get off this play, then I can always just, you know, Regeki him. So, I'm gonna normal summon. Okay. Yep, I knew he had that counter trap, so pretty much a monster would be summoned. You could trip one nice one and get that. Oh, you literally just did my job for me, so I don't even care. You know, you have to tribute a Lightsorn monster, so, no, that's all I care about. So you can return Lightsorns and... Oh, you want the effect? Okay. Well, that was my normal summon, so I guess I'll go ahead and poke you with Aerith. I mean, eventually, you'll go ahead and summon something and kill my Aerith. Now, if I were you, I would have banished the Aerith, but... You know, and I'm not so surprised you didn't attack as well. Just waiting for that JD. Does he have enough? He has... Michael counts, doesn't he? I think so. I mean, it doesn't matter anyway. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he has. He has enough to summon JD. So, whenever he gets to JD. So, if he just goes summon JD, activate effect wrap, I will totally go. All right, chain, call, summon, summon, you know, summon a couple times. Make him waste like 3,000 life points. And then I'll regack him. Sounds like a plan to me. Because, you know, the more, de the more he gets poked by Eris, the lower chances he has. I should actually just summon next turn summon Calvary, because why not? Why not have Pokemon with, you know, Calvary? If he summons JD and wipes it, I still get to summon, you know, Alright, so he's gonna use this target one line, so I'm supposed to summon it. Which you have this card Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and one, two, three, four, and I think I believe Michael counts too, so it's five, so it's thirty-five, thirty-six. 36. Holy shit. Please don't make me wait, use my Regeki on that. I might have to though, because right now I'd rather I'd rather keep the the Call of the Haunted to chain on JD. Right now, you know, hitting him with, is it really 4200 attack? With different names, so it's one, Two, three, four, five. Uh, it's his different names, right? Yeah, it's, it's thirty-six. Five with different names, and your spell plus one hundred. One, two, three, four, five. I'll take the 26, i hit the Grave, effect. Actually, you know what, if I go ahead and get uh, a Commander, you can go ahead and handle the situation for me. I could just go summon Commander, Commander blow up his fucking monster, and I'll deal with that. This is a Raika, I mean, I really don't care, I'm gonna get destroyed during the end phase. No, actually, I do care. I do care. <laughs> okay, if this Raika, then I can't even, any times my call to hunt, I can't even change. Oh, right, right, because it says send two. Oh, falling down. Cool. So, literally, if he summons JD, I can go, all right, you know, summon my Calvary, falling down, give me it. <laughs> and that sounds like a total, uh, that sounds like a plan to me, so, you know what? Yeah, I'm just gonna Regeki. This is the right code, and I want to get rid of it anyway, because I don't want to flip. So... Getting rid of you is this fucking big old beater and getting rid of you to Mr. Flippy. If you are Raikou, right, then I'm totally fine using the Regeki now. It wasn't even the Regeki. I mean, it wasn't even Raikou. Alright. I'm gonna summon Calvary. And Calvary will go ahead and attack, because Calvary is still a 19 beater. So. I'm just slowly just taking away your wipes. You know, no more no more booty wipes for you, sir. Now is that a Raikou? No idea. Got another falling down. I could I could, I could, I could seriously take some shit. Oh, I forgot I could use Nefarious Archie and Nefarious Sense to destroy Calvary and then summon back something. Ow. Run into that big old booty again. Is this attack and defense? 
Nope, just attack. So I take 200. Running into that big booty. Go ahead. So yeah, I could just go nefarious archer nefariousness, destroy cavalry, and then summon back my emperor. Big strong emperor. All right. Nap effect. Cow effect. Cow. Cow effect. Roar. And I can't attack with it this turn, but this is during my opponent's end phase, so my turn, I can attack with it. Oh, that Dark Hole, too. Damn, just all the destruction. I'm just gonna be fucking wrecking Boote. Well, I can run her over, so I'm not really, I don't really care about that. I'd rather start destroying some of that back row. Unless, unless, destroying her would end the duel, though, because I can just go attack, attack, so. Yeah, so. So, if I can wrap this duel up, then let's go ahead and do it. Is there an eye in Emperor? Is it? No, it's not. I don't know. Imperior. No. Emperor. Effect. Uh, you know what? Sure, I'll banish you. You're not really doing much right now. Am I seriously about to beat you before you can even summon JD? Mirror Force. Do I want to summon... I could chain... I could chain Call the Haunted. Uh, yeah, you know what? Let me chain. not know that lots of ones played shit like that. Go ahead. And I can literally upgrade to, you know, if he's gonna be on um, defensive, I can always just, you know, upgrade into uh, Ultimate Nightmare with Nefarious Archer and Nefariousness, so I'm still cool. Really, I, I really, you know what I, I really, I just wanna go ahead and summon Emperor and just, you know, falling down, take your JV. Wish I could have gotten some more damage, though. That's the only thing that sucks right now. I wanted to get in that damage. Guess I should have popped the back row. I got a little bit too greedy. I was like, oh, no, he doesn't play back row. It's fucking... It's fucking, uh... Ice Worms. Wish I would get more revival. I'd feel more safer. i feel safer doing the plays that I'm doing if I had one more revival card. <sighs> should I turn into Terror? I mean, Ultimate Nightmare right now? Might be best. Yeah. Uh... Nah, I'll wait. I'll wait. Okay, I got another piece of revival. I feel safe now. That's all I needed was one more piece of revival. Go ahead. Just needed a piece of revival. With that, I feel safe. Unless he summons JD right now, in which case I do not feel safe because he just goes summon JD and then wipe, wipe, and then probably summon, I don't know, BLS or something. I say there is no darks. Just a lot of lights. Do you have any uh, Luminas left? He should have one more Lumina. Alright. Enough effect. Ultimate effect. I mean, Terror effect. Terror effect. Not ultimate. Terror. <laughs> Not ultimate. I'm summoning ultimate. I'm summoning ultimate. There it is. And now I can uh, keep poking you for uh, 15, which is totally my plan. Just 15 and 15. Keep poking you until you do something. You want to play another mirror force? Play another mirror force. I don't care. But I'm going to keep poking you and keep punching you in the face until you run out of life points to even use JD. That's That's the plan anyway. One more hit, and you only get one wipe. Ah. Uh. Okay. It's been 
destroyed by the card effect of Oasis. Eh, I hear. This card leaves the field, show that monster, so. This guy says, this card in the field, which it was, destroyed by a card effect, I bet I can target one arcane monster, and, uh, special summon it. Can't attack this turn, which is fine, it's my opponent's turn. So, unless I'm planning on attacking during my opponent's turn. Yep, there's JD. I knew you were gonna be summoned. Wow, he had Divine Wrath this entire time. Mm hmm. So, can you summon something to do 18? Nope, you're just gonna hit me for 3,000? That's fine. One, two, three, four. Well, continue milling. That happens after the mill, but whatever. Three, four. That gets a counter. You're done. All right. Well, I'm going to go summon Emperor. Emperor effect, banish, pop the wolf, falling down, give me it, and then that's game. Sounds like a plan to me. That sounds like a plan to me. May I have your JD, sir? And if you try to fucking block me or anything along those lines, I'll, I'll gladly dark hole your ass. Bam! JD, game. Snatch still may be banned, but I still got falling down. Bitch, you guessed it. <laughs> All right, falling down. That clutch has falling down. That that card is sick. When I, you know, when I had some archings and clearly it's you bell archings. I'm telling you now, and archings were comboing this episode. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and call that. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of uh, Vitamin Wine with you bell archings. So thanks for watching. Thanks for all support, and I will see you guys tomorrow using Plague Glitch's bell. All right, people. Thanks for watching.